Asia is expected to uh, grow quicker and stronger than the rest of the world. But Asia is very diverse. So I'd like you to touch on specific economies. First, let's start off with China. How do you see China's role globally? Is Asia all about China? Well, of course, as everyone recognizes, uh, China has been, uh, the, its economy has been growing um, much faster than any other nation, I believe. And uh, its mission, of course, is to become uh, first equal to the U.S. in economic ways, but also, uh, if they could, to exceed uh, being the uh, first or number one in, in economic uh, arenas. I don't know that that will happen very quickly, but that is the goal that they have. And Mr. Xi, uh, the president of China, has done uh, very well in most areas, certainly in the economic arena. What about uh, Japan? So is Japan back? Well, <laughs> that is uh, maybe too optimistic because Japan has been in a uh, what most people would recognize as a depression for many years since 1990, as you indicate. And it took it upon itself to uh, try to fix and uh, undo the horrors of that depression, but has not been able to uh, truly reach uh, the role that it would otherwise have. It certainly uh, is uh, better than perhaps it was 10 years ago, but that's not a very good, uh, that's not a very good result. And I think that although Kuroda, the, uh, the central banker, is an extremely intelligent and extremely able person, I met with him a number of times, and I truly admire him uh, for having uh, taken on this uh, challenge and uh, dealt with it. But as I'm indicating, I don't think it's over yet. Uh, uh, Japan has its internal problems anyway. It is a, a, a population that has no uh, uh, equal uh, with other nations because of its na nature of uh, uh, lack of immigration. And uh, that that could be a problem for them in the future. It's also an aging population, which is also uh, potentially a problem. So if you ask me, is it back? Well, if, if you're asking, is it back as it was in the 80s? Absolutely not. Is it back better than it was um, 10 years ago? I would say yes. And uh, I think that the fact that they recently changed the prime ministers um, hurt them because I think Abbasan was uh, on his way of leading that nation in the right direction. And I think he was very well respected by the Japanese people and in the world, unfortunately health problems, as you know, um, required that he relieve himself of the uh, awesome duty. And we now have a new prime minister that um, hopefully will carry forward the mission. Before we uh, leave Asia, maybe we can touch on two vibrant and uh, young economies. So first, India, what would be your uh, advice for investors in terms of strategy that works best for them looking at the Indian market. And then to round off, Southeast Asia projected to be the fourth largest economic bloc by 2030, maybe even sooner. Your take on these two uh, regions, India and uh, Southeast Asia. Well, of course, everyone uh, recognizes that India, India is the uh, 
a biggest population next to, to China and has the capability, certainly the people well-educated and uh, have the, the capability of uh, leading, uh, being a leader is certainly in, in Southeast Asia, but also in the world. But that um, has also not developed as quickly as I think many people thought it would. And while I am very high on the potential of India, um, it, it certainly uh, would be the most um, advanced nation in Southeast Asia that could take on China and so forth. But it has not yet uh, accomplished that. So it's still very potentially important and very big. Um, and uh, uh, clearly, uh, uh, well-educated public uh, that could carry the ball forward. And I think you can you can be pretty sure that it will do so in the coming years.